All right, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brittany for everyone that is new. And if you're not new, what's up? Um, today, we are going to be talking about Devontae Frega. He is a former Division Three basketball player. He just finished his career, or I guess we could say Corona finished his career, unfortunately, like he did, like he, like it did for so many other people. But um, he, yeah, he has over 172,000 subscribers on YouTube, all from being a Division Three basketball player, telling his story, making really good videos, really good content. I think if you, I think any basketball player will like him, but especially if you're a guy, really check out his channel. His videos are very entertaining. He's going to the park playing pickup, wearing a mic. Like he just talks about a variety of topics. He lets the girls team take over the vlog. So he's just a really cool guy. Like he, he interacts well with his audience and he has merch now. He's gonna go play pro overseas. Um, just a really, really funny guy that I think you guys will like. So without further ado, let me introduce you to one of my favorite basketball content creators on YouTube. And yeah, Devante, here you go. <laughs> Hey, so did I. I'm out here working. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you crazy. <laughs> Devontae Frigo started his YouTube channel in September of 2017 and hasn't looked back since. He just finished up his playing career at D3 Mount Union University in Alliance, Ohio. This past season, he led his team to a 27-3 overall record, 17-1 in conference, which led them to a conference championship and ultimately getting a bid to the NCAA tournament, which obviously ended shortly, as we all know, due to the coronavirus. So on the court, Devontae can shoot the crap out of the ball, but he has a really complete game on the offensive end. He plays so smooth. Low-key got some bounce and really, really good handles. Like, he surprises me a lot when I'm looking at the clips from his game. Like, he can go off the dribble. He's got mid-range. He's got really good size. He averaged 15 points and five rebounds a game shot 47% from the field, 38% from the three, and 80% from the free throw line. So percentages and numbers like that, you already know that like he can score at a high percentage and is a really, really good shooter. So Devontae literally built his brand around D3 basketball. In fact, if you go into YouTube and just type in D3 basketball, you're gonna get all of the Devontae free content that you can handle. He made all of his videos around D3 basketball and what it's really like being a D3 hooper and really just a D3 student athlete in general, as most people have the common misconception that D3 athletes and D3 basketball players aren't taken very seriously and that they don't work hard or whatever the case may be. So just from his brand as a whole, you really get a feel for what it's really like to be a division three athlete. And that is really not that much difference between other levels that you can play at in college. This isn't the nicest division three basketball gym. Sorry, or like the biggest one, but it's definitely one of them. And I think it's awesome. 172,000 subscribers and nearly 13.8 million views later, he has literally created an entire Division III basketball community, changing the views and opinions of so many people on what it's really like to play Division III college basketball. In addition to the typical day in the life and game day vlogs, he frequently made videos with D1 athletes talking about the similarities and differences between D1 and D3 programs. And my personal favorite, being mic'd up straight, killing D1 recruits and always holding his own against them, even in the 1v1s. In a couple of his videos, he even went to nearby Division I schools that are a little bit smaller, got to show the facilities, the practice, gyms, and everything like that. And he even did a couple of shooting competitions and things like that against some of the D1 athletes. And he always, always held his own, which is what I love about him. He just really gives the whole meaning of being a Division Three athlete, like just a whole new meaning for someone who doesn't really know about them. Hey, so did I. I'm out here working. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you crazy. 
Gentry itself is a huge part of Devontae's brand, but he still manages to have a personality with his teammates, always being himself, even with an occasional funny but low-key inappropriate joke that it just always makes me laugh if you catch it. But more than that, creating an entire community and inspiring so many people along the way to leading his team to a championship. He starts the majority of his videos with the cinematic intro and voiceover about a basketball lesson that can also be applied to life, or both. Past few months, a lot has changed for me. But change is good. I think I have genuinely learned that embracing what's in front of you is more important than you think. And we often forget that the most valuable times in our lives are when we are overcoming something we didn't think we could get through. One of the biggest tips I can give you is to embrace what's in front of you no matter what. Embrace uncertainty. And he ends every video with his infamous tagline of stay motivated, stay positive. Stay motivated, stay positive. I got the horses in. You want to plug the wrestling team? He keeps it real and raw and isn't afraid to also document the losing moments. Even after, right after a tough loss on the road or the dramatic end to his college career and NCAA tournament run due to the coronavirus. I just stopped it because I just had to have that moment to myself. That's... Over on Instagram, he has about 40,000 followers. No blue check yet, but I'm sure it's on the way. He also engages with his followers and replies with likes, comments, and questions. He uses Instagram to post a lot of updates about the season, when his next game is, or things like that, and short videos to kind of draw his Instagram audience over to his YouTube channel. He also has 32,000 followers on TikTok, 6,000 on Twitter, for a total of about 250,000 followers across all social media platforms. But the coolest thing, in my opinion, are all of the kids that now get excited for the opportunity to play D3 basketball. A lot of athletes decide not to play in college because they feel like D3 isn't that good or they're above it, but now, because of Devante, there are so many athletes that want the opportunity to play at the Division III level. So that is all I have for you on Devante. Like I said, hopefully you can just see how awesome his brand is, his story and everything like that and everything that he's doing, not only for the basketball YouTube community, but just like getting people excited about D3 basketball. I remember at one of, on one of his videos, he was talking about people from like Australia and just all over the world that are tuned into his Division Three basketball games. Um, just the audience that he's built is just like crazy and his merch line and everything that he's doing just from having a passion for creating content, helping others, telling his story and just really just being himself. That's really what it's all about. And so I know that you guys can take away a lot from him. If you haven't seen Shaylee's video, make sure you go check that out and make sure you come back for part three where we're going to specifically talk about techniques that both Shaylee and Devante use in their videos, on their content, ways you can put your own little twist on it, make it your own, and start building your brand and being an influencer as a student athlete, because it's really important. If that's something that you wanna do, 
I want to help you. So if you like these kind of videos, give it a thumbs up so I will know. Comment down below any other videos or anything like that, any questions you guys have. I'm here for you guys. And yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support and everything. I will catch you guys on the next video. Stay safe, wash your hand, hands, sanitize, all that good stuff. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.